Hey guys, it's Julio from Aircon Academy. When you're talking about refrigerant boiling, why does it boil at the temperature that it does? Well, for two reasons. One, because of its components, because how it's of its makeup, and two, because of the pressure. Just like water. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level because of its component, because of its makeup, and it boils at 212 degrees because of the pressure. Now, how much pressure do we have right now? How much pressure do we have here? We have 14.7, 14.7. So when we have 14.7, that is the pressure, that is the force that's pushing down on this water. The molecules, what do the molecules wanna do? The molecules want to get away. The molecules want to you know, go out into space and do their own little thing. They don't wanna be trapped in here like this. They wanna get out on their own. So if we put this on the stove and we raise the temperature to 212, what's going to happen is the molecules are going to break away and then they're going to go out into the atmosphere because we have given them energy. When we put, when we add heat to it, where heat is energy, energy cannot be created or destroyed. We're giving the molecules energy because of that, they're breaking away and they can break up on their own and go do their own thing because they have the energy to do that. If they don't have the energy, they're gonna be collected all together and stuck together. The other thing we can do, we said, was to lower the pressure. So when we lower the pressure, the molecules will have enough energy to go and do their own thing. They just get out and you know, go into the atmosphere. Now, we are always, we have always been trained to think a certain way. I remember my mom when I was little, she would say, that's boiling because it's boiling, it's hot. Or don't touch that because that's hot. You see it boiling? If it's boiling, it's hot. I was always told that when things boil, they're hot. Well, what are they doing? They're changing state. They're going from, they're going from the liquid state to the vapor state. So now they're changing state. They're boiling. Boiling and evaporating. What is the temp? What is the difference between evaporating and boiling? Well, when it's boiling, it's going from liquid to a vapor. When it's evaporating, it's going from liquid to a vapor. So what's the difference? When it's boiling, it's changing state very rapidly. Inside the evaporator, the refrigerant in there is boiling. It's not evaporating, it's boiling because it's changing state very rapidly but it would be confusing if we called it the boiler. So they call it the evaporator and it's changing state from liquid to a vapor. This water, if we put it on stove, it's going to go from liquid to a vapor very, very rapidly. If I spill this water, it's gonna go from liquid to a vapor very, very slowly. So it's still changing state, but when it boils, change really fast. When it evaporates, change very, very slowly. I take the top off of this and I let it sit someplace, the water is going to evaporate. It's going to go from the liquid state to vapor state very rapidly. But if I change the pressure in this, then I can make it boil at room temperature. This is just water that is at room temperature. So if I take my vacuum pump and connect my vacuum pump to this, Once I have connected it to this, now I can turn my vacuum pump on. And we see that that water is starting to boil. It is changing state very, very rapidly. It's going from liquid to a vapor and it is boiling. It's not hot. It is at room temperature, but because I have lower the pressure, because I have lowered the pressure, now it's changing state. And we can see it happening if I left this running, if I left my vacuum pump running long enough, then all of this would just boil away just like when it's on a pot, when it's on the stove. So again, when we pull a vacuum in a system, what are we doing? We're boiling all of the moisture or the water that could be in there out of there. Now, it's still boiling slightly because the pressure 
inside is low. When I take this loose here, allow the atmospheric pressure to go in, and because of that, it stops boiling. Now the atmospheric pressure is pushing down on that and it keeps it from boiling away. All I did was lower the pressure. By lowering the pressure, I can lower the boiling temperature of that water. So now I have water boiling at room temperature, 70 degrees, 75 degrees, whatever it is in here. In the evaporator, what's happening in the evaporator? We're changing the refrigerant from liquid to a vapor, and it's boiling at 40 degrees. I just wanted to explain this to you and show you how we can make water boil at room temperature and try to explain to you what makes refrigerant boil at the temperature that it's boiling and what makes water boil at the temperature that it is boiling. Again, this is Julio, Aircon Academy, and I hope it's easier to understand why water boils and why refrigerant boils when they do.